You're right guys, it's Cap Gun Tom here, and today I thought I'd um, do a little bit of a squad show off, I think. Um, I couldn't really think of anything else to do, and I haven't got that much time to make a video, so um, this is quite quick and easy for me to do, and it can you can all have a look at what squads I've got. So you all know I've got the um, 41212 that I showed in the last video, the Serie A with like, Pato and Mikkeli and Giovinco and stuff. Um, I've still got that team. The 800k or a million coin squad um, that I did have, I have taken apart and sold because I just hated it. Um, I don't really like a 4-3-3 formation. I like to have two quite fast men up top, so um, it really didn't suit my play style. I might try another one at some point. I have got a plan to make a Liga BBVA slash Serie A um, hybrid uh, in a 4-3-3, which will probably be like the best part of 2 million coins depending on who I've got in it. I mean, I've already got Inform or Team of the Year Danny Alves to put in it and he's like 800k, so just alone he's almost pushing the million mark. So, um, let's get into this and have a look at some of my squads then. So, I'm going to show you three different squads. Um, the first one is a squad that I only made the other day, but I'm having a lot of fun with it actually. Um, it's this 442 um French league team, well not French league but French team, um, you can see I have um, strikers, I have Remy and uh, De Givre Cisse, both of who are really fast, um, about 6 foot tall and um, have 80 headings so they're both very good strikers, they both have 4 star skills which is awesome. We then move on to the midfield, um, a man who needs no introduction at left midfield we have Ribery. Um, we also have Menez, who has five star skills as well. Gurkov, who has five star skills. And Valbuena out at right mid. Um, I was thinking about getting informed Ben Arthur, and then I saw his price was going for like 120k, so I was just like, nah, that's alright. So I decided against that. Um, I then have Conco at right back, and I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, why aren't you using Sanya? But I've been using Conco for a long time, and uh, I feel that his um, pace coupled with uh, his defensive mentality really make him good um, a good player because it means that my play I don't get caught out of the back all that often with like uh, like four versus two. I it's usually got I've usually always got three people back. At left back we have Evra. Um, in the middle we have Sarko. Uh, who's very fast uh, for a centre back, 74, and this was this was the problem uh, position that I couldn't find someone for. I ended up going for Kashelny in form because he is the second fastest um, French defender um, after Sarko. So pace is a really big thing in this game. I think we all know that by now. And um, Koscielny's, like defending stats and heading stats are good enough to make him a great defender as coupled with his pace. And then who else in goal would we have other than Hugo Lloris, um great goalkeeper. Been a bit um, patchy for me recently, but uh, really, really not that bad uh, in goal. Um, and you can see, even though I haven't bothered changing Menez and Gorkov to um, centre attack in mids, but I still get nine chemistry with both of them down at the bottom. So I'm not I'm not going to change them because the centre attack in mid to centre mid card is lots of coins and I just can't be asked really. So um, right, we'll move on to the next squad. I've become a bit of a four four two addict as you're about to see. Um, my second team, I imagine a lot of you have probably seen before, uh, and this is my main silver team. Uh, here we go. So really good team. Uh, it's probably um, over 600, maybe seven, no, 600. I'd say 650k roughly. Um, we got El Sharawi, who I cannot praise enough. I know there's a lot of fanboys out there for El Sharawi, but um, it's all justified. He is absolutely amazing, especially in striker, because he has weak foot of um, five. So if you get on either side, both of his shots are cracking. Great shot. Got five star skills. Um, He's strong, he's agile, oh, it's just everything you could ever want in a striker. We then have Marlos, who is um, obviously going up in price. Well, he did shoot up in price as people panic bought him, but um, he's dropping back down a bit. Um, but he's levelled off at about 130 or 150, I think, something like that, 150k. Um, but he will go back up as they become scarcer as the Kozav packs, which I think he might have already done. So um, he'll definitely be going up in price. Um, 
Then at left mid, we're playing Lands of Fame. Now, Lands of Fame wouldn't be my um, immediate choice for left mid in this team, but um, I had to have someone got a strong link with El Sharari because otherwise I would not be getting um, the full chemistry in this hybrid team because, as you can see, everyone gets nine chemistry and it was quite difficult to get that um, because we're getting dead links between Marlos and El Sharari and also dead link between Lands of Fame and... Um, Marcio Azevedo, so it's lucky that there's a great um, centre mid in uh, the in Serie A who's Brazilian that can sort of link them all together, and that's Coutinho, great player. I think he's got a cracking long shot. He's got four star skills, and he's got a nice little afro to go with it, so can't complain. Then we have uh, Marais, who's uh, pretty much a beast. I mean, I think he'd be probably be better suited to like an attacking midfield role, but. Um, you know he does the business in centre mid and he's got five star skills so that's pretty much why I've got him then on to the next player who is probably the most expensive player or is at the moment I imagine that Marlos will eclipse him once um, he becomes a bit rarer but at the moment um, Mike Onlete at right mid is the um, most expensive player in my squad I bought him for 200 and I was sad to see that there's bins up for like 175k at the moment which is annoying but I imagine it will go back up a little bit after team of the year um, he's got five star skills and look at his pace 91 absolutely insane um, I'm a little bit underwhelmed with him for his price I mean I was expecting a lot more but um, and I tried Dan Alineo someone lent me one uh, not even in the right formation and I scored an absolute amazing goal with him like skill run the first time I got a hold of him so um, it's I'm really undecided as to whether I want to keep uh, um, Mike on Lette there or put Dan Alinho there instead. Ideally I'd love to get informed Dan Alinho, but that's, you know, ridiculous. I mean it's just a massive, massive price. I wish I tried harder when he was in packs to get him. I mean I opened a lot of packs but I could have opened a lot more and that would have I might have got him which would have meant made me a lot of coins and that would have been cool. Anyway, left back we have Marcio Azevedo, um five star skiller, the only five star skill um defender in the game and he is um, I don't know people have told me he has a beast long shot but I haven't seen that for myself generally he's very good at coming up and uh, supporting the attack probably a bit too much sometimes and uh, so you know but with it with his pace and stuff he's quite able to get back quite easily at right back we have Cicinho who has four star skills um, and uh, again probably a bit too attacking minded I wouldn't mind if he'd just stay back a bit because half the time I think that Mike Onlete is playing right back because um, and Cecenia is playing like right wing because of the positions like he's so far up the pitch and Mike Onlete is just sitting at the back so um, yeah um, it's okay though um, he's got 90 pace which is always good to see then we have at the centre back we have Manuel who's an absolute monster. Let's have a look at his height. He's 5 foot 11. Great height for a defender to be. 5 foot 11 and higher is great. Um, he has 80 pace, which is absolutely insane. Great heading, great defending. And uh, he partners incredibly well with this guy, Canu. Some of you might not know who he is. I imagine a lot of you will, though. Plays in the Pro League. Um, not sure which club it's for. Let me check. Uh, he plays for Standard Liege. Uh, he's six foot two, and he's got eighty pace, and again heading of seventy nine and defending of seventy three. So, really beastly stats. Now we move on to the last player, which is goalkeeper Neto or Nito, however you want to say it. Mm. And now I've been told that he's like the best Brazilian goalkeeper as well as the best Serie A goalkeeper because he plays for Fiorentina. But um, I'm starting to think I might try out some other goalkeepers because he seems a bit mm, hit and miss sometimes. I'll uh, say so. That's um that's the next squad, that's the hybrid squad. Now the last squad I'm gonna show you is literally pretty much the same. I mean the defence is exactly the same, the right mid is the same, Marlos is in it as well. But if we go and have a look at it, um it's a full Brazil team, just so you can see it. Um still trying to think of who I want to put up front with. Uh, Marlos obviously in form Dan Alinea would be the best choice because then I get the five star skills. But um uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to ever be able to afford that, so <clears throat> so let's go for it quickly. So we have Kirison, obviously Marlos again, um, Wellington Silva left mid who has five star skills, one of the only changes in the squad. Um, 
not the fastest. I mean, 81 pace is still good for a silver player, but like compared to like some of the other players in the team, it's not that much. We obviously have Marais again. And then Jean, who I cannot praise enough, is great um, player, really well-rounded centre midfielder, uh, gets back and defends, has a great long shot, so really great um, player. And as you can see, obviously, all of the other players are the same in the team, other than Jean, Kirison and Wellington Silver. If you could, guys could suggest someone that I could get for striker for this team, I'd really appreciate it, because I'm struggling to think of um, someone uh, that I could play there that would get, you know, obviously get, keep the nine chemistry like everyone has um, but also would add to the team I've already tried out Joe so don't suggest him I didn't really like him I found him a bit cumbersome even if he is a massive beast but um, I just didn't get along with him so um, so anyway guys I'm going to leave it there uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video I mean um, it's quite cool showing you my teams uh, I put a lot of effort into them so I really appreciate some good feedback and um, I'll leave it there. Um, if you could drop a like, that'd be awesome, and a subscription, a subscription if you haven't already. And uh, I guess I'll see you all next time. Cheers.